next watch. This is Sebi. Now today, we're going to the Klansman trial again. Because this time, another witness, this individual is a 30 year veteran of the JCF. Right, so he's a retired police officer. And he mentioned the fact that, well, you know, he used to do his own local investigation then. Right, he's, he's basically he specialized in a client and one other. Right. So I sent Catherine out a really fiend thing. And even right, the MoMA incident, right, or the MoMA era of Klansman, right, it sounds like he used to do his own undercover work, right, based on the man reading the nationwide article. Now, while giving his testimony, he mentioned an incident where a gangster boxed on a politician, right, and a politician was walk off. Now, by now, you should have known which incident this, right? If you listen to the channel for a long time now, you must know which young stem I talk, right, and which politician, right? Here's a clue. It's not black man, it's not Tesha. That video is going to be linked at the end of this video. So you know normally when time a video are done, right, you see like a next video pop up like, you know, you can try this out. People who don't instantly know who we might talk about, that infamous boxing incident, well, just check out that video and you'll be brought up to date. Right? That was a very spooky, spooky incident. You'll hear all about the build-up in terms of what led right, to him being confronted with him do, right? and the aftermath. Let's just say it never end well for your favorite Dan. Right? Now, the same police officer went on to state that right, in right, trying to infiltrate the gang, right, he was communicating with Muma. Right, at one point, she even tried to bribe him. She tell him say, she used to David, right? not just because you know say, Muma is involved with multiple members of the Klansman gang. Right? She went from Adan to 87. But she also have a youth, a liberty. Right now, I'm telling say the Muma video, right? I will come after the trial done. Right? Maybe want, you know, certain things when you want, you know, stay until our video drop, what the policeman said. It's not the papers. So, Mumma tell the policeman, say, right, she used to deal with liberty, right, and as me say, multiple members of the Klansman gang. Right? Policeman said to her, say, I had to laugh for me, see, right, or you dare to have the bodies to my name in Jamaica. Spooky, right. So, we check out the story upon Nationwide, right. This policeman was doing his own little under, um, undercover work for me, I see. At one point, he, he, he start deal with them like him a gangster, then he start deal with them like him a police, and then she start try to get favors from him. Very interesting read, so check it out by Nationwide. But as I was reading right, the story, something else stand out to me. And now, it get real spooky for me with this trial. It mentions say, right, the judge, right, and as it, you should be aware by now, we're talking about Chief Justice Brian Sykes. Then did want to admit the retired policeman as an expert witness. You know, so when somebody get designated expert witness, then them can like speak on certain issues and them word that wait in the court. The prosecution was trying to get this because this would help the case greatly. If this policeman is a 30 year veteran, specialized in a clan on one other, a theme testimony might get accepted as expert witness then. Right? They are big, right? A, a, a major boost for the prosecution. The judge, same not convinced. Chief Justice Brian Sykes says he's not yet convinced that the policeman, retired policeman with 30 years experience, who specialized in a St. Catherine Knot, and can be seen as an expert. And he says, and the reformation right, and he says the witness will not be allowed to testify on specific cases unless he, that is the judge, is satisfied that he can be classified as an expert. So until then, he can't speak for a certain case. But the trial got ongoing, so until the, the next question is when will the judge make up his mind? Right, because the trial don't have much um, longer to go. So if the judge don't make up his mind before the trial done, right, and accepts that this person is con should be considered an expert, does that mean so we know you know anything more about this witness? Or from this witness? I don't understand. This man have 30 years experience. This man debuted from the Bulby era. So, a whole heap of information. See, this is what is confusing me. 
he thinks the anti gang trial when time him bring so much man and him a try you know look man not just break it down from one man one man one man right but when they bring the whole gang pan trial and they want to see the gang operate i was thinking that part of the trial was to see right how gangs operate and what they can do now you ever witness right with the experience with the knowledge right 30 years based on a saint catching not right and the judge said him not convinced him not convinced so he need 30 more years that this policeman need to join back the force and do another 30 years i'm just i guess it's because i'm not a legal expert i'm just thinking me sitting now in courtroom listening to a case and a man comes sitting in front of me who have 30 years experience right Saint Catherine not a theme thing. And the prosecution say, Your Honor, we want this person to be considered an expert witness based upon them experience. And then can tell you personally, so they not only communicate with Muma, even go talk to City Puss, don't have JLOs, right? All of them things there. This policeman, right? And me say, did a theme, I do theme infiltration and everything surrounding the gang. And despite all of that, the judge is saying he's not convinced. We don't know what left he convinced. What more am I going to hear to convince him? You see, people say, you might say, well, like, you know, you talk like you know more than judge. It's not about knowing more than nobody. Just like how people can ask questions concerning the Prime Minister, we can ask questions concerning the opposition leader. We can ask what's going on with the Chief Justice. All of these people serve the public, you know, from what I'm aware. I mean, I understand it, go. Maybe I that because I don't know I'm a little YouTuber so maybe I just don't understand. I mean, never realized that some people are divine and you know they they follow this, they can't ask no question. It's just it just sound weird to me. A 30 year veteran, I convinced the judge. So, you know, he will not be allowed to testify on specific cases. Um, I just don't know. See, this is what is looking spooky to me. Even if a, a guilty verdict come down. The sentence them might make people laugh. I think enough come out in a court where right, the verdict should go only one way, but you never know. But even if the verdict goes a certain way, the sentences, I'm starting to think that this so people are going really, I won't, right? People are going really like surprised this so, up. Right? It's sounding to me like, say, right, the, what enough people I expect if a guilty verdict come down. And you might expect, you know, big sentence to go on. The way all things are shaped up, right, with the judge, I don't know. As I said, the whole question with, with the senior police officer, it kind of threw everything on. If you asked me like two weeks ago, right, I'd be able to make a better prediction. But right now, I don't know what going I was thinking with all of this evidence, C4 and Uncle C Tuck and all that, slam dunk, right now, I don't know. Right? And even if I vote, a guilty verdict go down the sentences because if the sentences right especially for the main players them a joke thing then all this hoopla I've got really ask yourself then what was the fuss about I remember you changed Wilson you changed some Wilson case the big and boasty and drag on and drag on and drag on and in time at time the sentence enough man gets some sentence where even the police to come out and say they're disappointed because for all the investigation they may expect more but we will see it turn out. So I'm say check out the nationwide article. Yeah. It's very interesting. Anyway, be a squad, you open yourself. Yeah, yeah, you don't know more life. Ultra squad. Stay circling. Bless.